are you doing? Great. Welcome to the allergy specialist's office. I am Dr. Lisa. Nice to meet you. I'll be helping you out today. Um, before we get started, let's go ahead and make sure that all the information we have on file for you is up to date. So, go ahead and confirm your birthday, please. Good. Address on file I have here is 123 Street. Is that still? Good. Okay. Telephone number ending in 7227. Perfect. Do you still have that general insurance? Or do we need to update your insurance information? All to date. Perfect. So, I know we had you fill out a little bit of a questionnaire beforehand, but I want to go ahead and just talk over again what you're feeling, what's the main reason for your visit. Um, that cough, yes, I hear it. How long have you been experiencing that cough? Oh wow, yeah, that's a bit. I'm sure that can get a little annoying. And is it always kind of that dry, persistent cough, or do you ever have like um, phlegm associated with it? Dry. Okay. Um, do you have any pets at home? Just the one. Yeah. Dog or cat. Okay. Do they sleep um, inside your room at night, or do they have their own little area of the house? How long have you had them? Okay. Do you sleep with like um, hypoallergenic sheets or you know those little covers that you can put over the bed just to help prevent any dust? Yeah. Okay. Do you happen to know what year your house was built? Okay. Do you mostly have carpeted floors or what's the flooring like? Some areas you have carpet. Okay. Do you have centralized air conditioning? Okay. Just trying to get a better idea of um, any environmental allergens that you might be exposed to on the daily. With this being such a persistent cough, um, it's just things I'm trying to rule out. So is this your first time, you know, the first year you've ever gotten a cough like this? It's not. And would you say that it's always around this time um, of the year, the season, or have you paid any attention to when you typically get the cough? Spring, fall. Okay. All right. Um, and just to confirm, have you taken any antihistamines or any allergy or asthma medication in the last 24 hours? No. Okay, good. Yeah, we just like to make sure that um, you haven't taken any medication that might skew the results of the testing a little bit. We just want to make sure that this is um, accurate. Okay. Your general doctor had ordered some blood work done, so that's awesome. Definitely helps us out a bit. Um, if I look at the results, um, it shows that you have no food allergies, so that's great. Um, but it does show that you might um, be experiencing some environmental allergies. So today what I think is going to be best is that we'll conduct um, a skin allergy test to really narrow down just what you're allergic to in the environment. Let me start off by just taking a little bit of a closer look at your eyes, your ears, and your nose. And I'll listen to your breathing as well. So I hope you don't mind. Can I get just a little close? Okay, good. So can you go ahead and take a deep breath for me? Good, and release. Awesome. Let me go ahead and take a quick listen to the other side. Take a deep breath. Good, and release. And just one more time. Let me go ahead and listen. Just take a deep breath in. Good, and release. 
Okay, everything does sound normal, so that's awesome news. But I want to just do a quick uh, pulmonary function test. So I, that sounds kind of scary. <laughs> this is a non-invasive test, super easy. You may have even done it before. Basically, what you're gonna do, you have this tube. You are going to take a really deep breath in and then blow out. <sighs> yeah, so it's really just as long as you can until you run out of breath. We're gonna do that three times. Yeah, so the purpose of this test is really just to make sure your lungs are um, operating at the expected level. We're really going to be measuring that uh, flow of air uh, throughout your lungs. So I will hand you the tube. It will be connected here to what we call a spirometer, and that's what we use to measure. Um, basically, this will help me rule out asthma. Um, you've never been diagnosed with asthma before? Okay, and I don't think that's what you have either, but I just want to go ahead and rule that out. So let's go ahead and get started. Here you go, I'll let you hold on to that. Let me go ahead and pull up my little screen to start the test. So give me one second to input all your info. Remind me your birthday again. Okay. Perfect. And... Okay, I'm ready whenever you are. So just take a deep breath. And release whenever you're ready. <sighs> Keep going. Keep going. Looks good. Looks good. Okay. Perfect. Now, we'll do two more times. So whenever you're ready, take a deep breath. that reaction and that will tell me 
if you are um, allergic to that allergen or not. So that really just helps us come up with the treatment plan. It could be something as simple as, hey, um, let's try to avoid that allergen if possible. That's typically what we do for food allergens. Um, it could be something as, hey, on a daily, you'll need to take a type of over-the-counter allergy medication, or maybe we want to look more long-term into immunotherapy, so those are allergy shots. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and grab that kit. Give me one minute. All right, let me go ahead and just place this kit down here. Give me one second. Okay, and now to get started, I'm going to go ahead and just wipe you down with an alcohol wipe. So if you can please give me your hand. Actually, are you in a comfortable position? You're gonna have to be sitting here for 15 minutes, so make sure you get nice and comfy. Good, let me put this pillow under your arms. Just hold out your arms like this, and I will go ahead and wipe them down, okay? Okay, let's go to wipe. Wipe, 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 good. Wipe, 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 wipe. Good, perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mark on your arm um, where we are going to expose your skin to the suspected allergen, okay? So let me just go in and make a dot. One, two, three, four. One, two, That's the first arm. It's not too bad, just a little annoying. Now go ahead and keep your other arm straight. Make sure not to move so that way the liquid doesn't move around, okay? Poke and twist, 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 poke and twist.
I will be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some stuff to read. Um, the results of your test. We are almost at 15 minutes, so just hang with me, okay? Remember, don't scratch up. Good, thanks. I'll be right back. Okay, let me take a peek. Oh boy, you are definitely allergic to a couple things here. Glad we did this test. Yeah, your blood work showed that you might have a couple, um, potential environmental allergies, but, I mean, I never would have thought that you would react this way. It's def you're definitely severely allergic to a couple of things. No wonder you have this cough. Okay. All right. So the 15 minutes are up. Go ahead and keep your arms extended. I'm going to wipe them down with this alcohol pad, okay? so good to be done with this. Okay, let me go ahead and measure a couple of those, okay? So just sit still. Okay, 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 good. Okay, 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 good. Let's do a little bit over here. Oh, yeah. write down any of those measurements, so we are going to have to do that again. Sorry. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and check where that really be. Oh, yeah. A little bit on this other one. Oh my goodness, yeah. That must have been super uncomfortable. I would say those were the major ones you had. Um, you don't need to go in and measure every single one of them. All right, so to help make things a little bit better for you, let me go ahead and give you an antihistamine right here. So give me your hand, good. And here's a little cup of water. Perfect. So take that, that should be taking effect soon. I'm so sorry, I know this is not comfortable. Um, let me go ahead and put a, bit of, a little bit of lotion on your forearms as well. I think that will help a lot. Just kind of relieve that itching. Okay. Good. Now let me go ahead and just put that all over. Oh yeah, that feels much better, doesn't it? Good. And on the other one, perfect. Just kind of rub that in. Yeah, it is just, I know, <laughs> like instant relief kind of cools it down because I'm sure it feels very hot right now. Your arms are super red and sweet. Worry. We're one step closer to getting some answers to, um, on why you've had this cough, so that's always good news. Okay. So, let's just kind of go down the list. We're going to start with a couple pollens. So, that is where it's very obvious that you have a couple um, environmental allergies. shows that you are severely allergic to olive trees. Yeah. Yeah, but I know we have a whole bunch in the area and this is the season when they're really out and just, yeah, not great. So that probably explains some of the issues you've been having. But this whole side here, this whole column here, all focuses on different trees. Yeah. Next, the other one that you showed to have some major, um, a severe allergic reaction do is this section right here and that looks at pet danders yeah so you had a very mild reaction to dogs but I see you are very allergic to cats yeah have you ever noticed when you're around cats maybe your eyes get super itchy and watery uh-huh exactly yeah so that is that explains that <laughs> yeah Next, this section right over here looks at dust mites. So you didn't really show to be um, experiencing any allergic reaction to that. So that's one thing we can kind of just check off the list. Now let's take a look at your other arm. This section right here, yep, right there, that looks at uh, weeds. So grass, weeds in the area, yep. 
-hmm. And last we have right here mold. Not, not really showing any allergic reaction to that, so one, one last thing to worry about. So let me go ahead and document these results. I'll just go in and for each allergen, right? Uh, mark it on a scale of one to five. A one being really no allergic reaction, five being severely allergic. So you have a couple fives for this. So yeah, that. Let me see your arms again. Okay. So you have a couple fours. threes and belows, but for those, we're not going to really worry about them. Good. Very happy that you decided to do this today. I think we're going to be able to help you out a ton. Now, let's talk next steps. So what I'm thinking we can do in the short term is start with um, an allergy medication. Mm -hmm. So this is one that you will have to take daily. We will try it out for two months. Two months. We have a daily of this allergy medication. We are also um, at the same time going to recommend using this nasal spray. Okay. And I will have the ladies up front hand that to you. That will also be a daily thing. I suggest that you do that. Um, actually, let's go with two times a day. One at night and one in the morning, okay? Perfect. Um, now, that is really just a temporary solution with allergies that are this bad. I would do recommend um, going through immunotherapy, basically allergy shots. Um, no, so that is not a, a seasonal shot. It will actually be um, two or three times a week, every single week for a year. I know that sounds absolutely terrible. <laughs> um, some documents on that. We can make sure that the insurance actually covers it, um, but that's something we really recommend because long term, you know, it gets rid of these allergies. So basically what it does is that it exposes you to a small amount of your allergen. Um, you will experience a little bit of an allergic reaction at the shot of the injection, but um, it will be very, very, very small amounts. We will increase it little by little. That's why it has to be done for a year. But by the end of it, you pretty much won't be allergic at all. So that's nice. And we definitely recommend doing that sooner rather than later so you can live your life allergy free. Um, no pressure if you don't think that's something that will work for you. I definitely understand. Um, but I'll go ahead and give you some documents just so you're aware of the treatment if you decide to do it. Perfect. I think that covers everything for us today. Um, let me know how that medication works. Um, if you feel like, um, you know, if you still have that cough in a month, we'll want to go ahead and schedule a follow-up um, and see if we need to change our treatment. Yeah, we can go ahead and make adjustments to the treatment plan as needed. You just let me know how you feel, okay? Well, it was really nice meeting you and working with you today. Thank you again for stopping by. Um, happy to help. Yep. Yeah. So we will be seeing you shortly. Bye.